Hey guys, Kaylee from Kaylee Bakes Cakes here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this baseball smash cake. So starting off, I baked a vanilla cake in a six inch dome pan and I'm just torting them or essentially just cutting this cake into layers and I'm cutting it into three layers just so it's just not a huge chunk of cake and frosting on the outside. So once those are cut, I'm going to layer my vanilla Swiss buttercream in between these cake layers. And I love Swiss meringue buttercream for this cake specifically, and I'll tell you in a second why. But after I layer the frosting, I'm going to do a crumb coat where basically we're just kind of sealing in all those crumbs that might have been caused from torting the cake and letting that sit overnight. And now we are ready to frost. So I'm frosting with that same vanilla Swiss buttercream and I love Swiss buttercream because it does smooth out really um, nicely, especially when using acetate. So here I'm just cutting a piece of acetate, which is just a uh, thin plastic and you can, you know, bend it however you need to. So it's really nice for a cake like this where it needs to be round. So then we can um, manipulate the acetate however we want and smooth out that cake. And the Swiss buttercream works really well with this. It gives a really nice smooth exterior once you get it all clean and precise. And as you can see here, it is really nice and round. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for an hour before I decorate. All right, and now I'm gonna take another piece of acetate and where the stitching is on the baseball, I'm just creating an indentation so I know where that's gonna go. And just going all the way around. And I'm gonna repeat this on the other side of the cake as well since there are two places where the stitching goes on the ball. And I'm doing this because I want to know where to put the uh, number one on the cake and just make sure it's centered between the stitching. And I cut this out of wax paper and I'm just taking the blue frosting and putting it over top of the cutting. So once you peel off the wax paper, you have a nice frosting number one. And you do see that I did it was pretty splotchy, so you can just take your spatula and scrape it off to clean it up. And now with a number three piping tip in a piping bag, I'm piping out that where that indentation was so I can have an outline as to where that stitching will go and doing that on both sides of the cake. And once I finish that up, I'm gonna start the stitching. So you're gonna wanna create little arrows and go all the way around the um, outline of the indentation that we did. And once that's done, we're gonna do it on the other side and we are gonna be doing it in the opposite direction of how we did the arrows before. And just to give it a little extra pizzazz, I crushed up some graham crackers and I'm just putting that around the baseball to make it look like dirt. And that is it. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, comment below what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you in the next video.